Oh, hi everybody! Uh, right, it's um, it's it's me, Dave Josko. Hello, <laughs> uh, welcome to the Company Seller Nightly Show. It is Tuesday at six o'clock. You know how confused I always get in the studio at the opening, and then we all get it together because everything's behind. I always want to see people in the chat room, and uh, where do I see that chat room? Oh no, it's over here. Sorry. You know, I want to get that together so I can say hello to everybody who's there. Where? Oh, live chat. There we go. All right. Sorry, everybody. Hello. Hello, Jenny Cohn Sanchez. Uh, anyway, this is the Comedy Seller Nightly Show as usual. Welcome to April. It is April 4th. And uh, we do this to promote the greatest comedy club in the world, possibly, now that they're also adding on another edition, mm. which, uh, of course, we'll talk about soon. Uh, and this just uh, today, if you were here at this McDougal Street location, you would get to see an, an amazing show, like, what are there, like nine shows every day, every day of the week, and you'd get to see people like mm, Todd Barry, mm. who happens to be our guest today. <laughs> oh. Hello, he's actually live in studio. Live in studio. This is a big, this is a big get for you. David. Yes, it is. I know that. Wow. Hello, Scruffy Bones. Nice to see everybody. We have all these lovely people in the Hi, chat Scruffy all Bones. The time. And yes, Todd will be performing later, so he was kind enough to come an hour earlier mm. to uh, sit and talk to us for a little bit. Uh, also, we have the Las Vegas room with our good buddy Mark Coco Cohen, who's the house MC there. If you are in Vegas, and this week, if you happen to be in Vegas, you will see Tom Takar. Do you like uh, him? I do like Tom. I like him too. I think he's really funny and he's a nice guy. So, uh, Brian Gianu said, Hello, what a get. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's with you on that. Um, oh, yeah, right. He's, he put it up. So, I mean, you can see it over there too. Sometimes uh, Mike puts them up when they're good like that. Oh, I didn't. So, yes. There we go. Um, this is great because I I haven't it's not that big a deal, but I, I haven't told Todd yet. I was ready to reveal it. I'm coming to see you on Saturday at Red Bank. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just um I, I was like that was my plan because I didn't get to go to the beacon well, uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I was teaching. I know you didn't. I yeah. went. Um and so I uh, Todd is if, if you are in on Saturday, I if there are tickets left, Count Basie Theater, Red Bank Saturday, Todd Barry. With Sarah Silver, I was trying to keep it a secret. <laughs> you can, that's why people don't know who you are when you come on. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm I, you know I'm kidding. Uh, hi, Jenny. Uh, th it's it's um, I'm so excited to see you. I'm so glad you're opening for her. I know I haven't done a big place like that in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nervous. I'm really excited, but I would go see a a full show of yours anyway. Are you I'm driving excited. with us also? On no, no. Oh, I'm good, gonna thank I'm going to take this girl. Um, I'm taking my friend Lara who will be on this show at some point because uh, she's pretty and she makes the cut. Um, and then <laughs> sometimes I just have a uh, really pretty attorneys on. Wow. Uh, because then what are they going to say? They're going to, they're going to, they're attorneys. Of course they could make a case, but what are they going to, they agreed to be on the show. Are we supposed to pretend it's 1978? That's here? what is up here <laughs> every day. <laughs> Hello, Aunt Judy. Nice to see you. I hope you're feeling good. I'll see you tomorrow at the Seder. Are you doing anything for Passover, Todd? No, I never, I've never been to a Seder in my life. Really? Yeah, and I'm Jewish too. Yeah, I know. Um, geez, uh, do you want to come over? <laughs> Are you not busy really? Tomorrow? What happens? I don't even know what happens to Seder. The food's terrible. Oh, right? it's horrible. But you know, it don't sounds go awful. Food in this case, Jews aren't really known for a good, fun food time. Some people love Jewish food. I well, I, mean, actually, I like a bagel. Me and uh, Rath went to Katz's Deli on Sunday. That's right. Oh, I used to right live near here. there. Yeah, yeah, used to live there. Right? Used to live there. Um, it was delicious. Well, he got the roast beef. Nobody gets that. He doesn't know how to order <laughs> roast beef. And, you know, but that's why he's thin now. You know, yeah. like it's just he does eats roast it. beef. But we also had the corned beef and pastrami. It was fantastic. I mean, really fantastic. And I got pictures of all that. That of course I'll have on the um, uh, on the, the Just Out of the City, my podcast, and I have a bonus show if you're on Patreon. You'll be able to see all the so, food. So for okay. bonus, if people pay for your Patreon, they get to see a picture of a sandwich. That's right. Wow. You know, I wish I'll I pay for kidding, that. But uh, that is pretty much how it goes. Oh, Aunt Judy. Oh, my Aunt Judy made the side. Hi, Judy. I thought she was going to be oh, that's your aunt? show. Yeah. Oh, hey. I'll, I'll be nice to her. Hi, Aunt yeah. Judy. Nice. Uh, that's nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be nice to everyone. Uh, Aunt Judy's been, it's so funny. I think of Aunt Judy. She's been around so long. I'm, I'm, it, that came out the wrong way. I should be angry. But when we used to be a Catch Rising Star and you heard about Rick Newman, mm -hmm. um, she would always come. I remember it was, I, I, I you, you might have been there. Chappelle was definitely there. We were all in that green room, uh, subsequent to the stage, like to the right hand side. Maybe Mark Marin, we were all in there. And Aunt Judy comes in. 
don't worry everybody it's david's aunt judy <laughs> it's just it's really funny that she does didn't give a shit it just like goes you know in yeah. the green room with the comics like that's you know, funny with all the biggies with all the biggies only the biggies only the biggies uh look love todd weekly says love todd aura says todd barry's the man yeah thank you you're the man see thank you a weekly i'll give you the uh the love thank you or as or as or as or as um one of these guys is in vegas i think so holy shit i think it's people everywhere man yeah yeah uh eliza uh is uh she says hi and she's from canada oh i like Uh, jenny comes from san francisco i like san francisco um we are our friend catalina is from chile i've never been to chile i have never been there either and i know we have a friend uh from hawaii i've been to hawaii you have twice cool what's that like i've never been it's kind of beautiful I went to a cat sanctuary. And, oh, oh, my sister went there. She bought me back a shirt. Did she? That's right. We like cats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When she told me the cat sanctuary, I thought she said a cat cemetery. And I'm oh, like, that's, that's weird. No. That's, but yeah, they showed me pictures and they bought me a shirt. insane. Yeah. There's 600 cats there. Yeah. Todd's a big cat person, um, which is great. And you've always had a cat, right? Uh, not really, but. No? No. I've had. You still have one now, right? I do have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah when i first met you didn't you also have one or did i think i had i had a my ex-girlfriend had a cat oh yeah i love cats too we do too on this show man i I, wish you had a cat right here like i know i do too (laughs) i know there should be who was the cat oh remember in the uh boston comedy club there was a cat named cleo no she was the house cat no like she was in boston and sun mountain cafe downstairs um cleo because i'll never i guess i remember the name because remember that bartender the irish bar tom yeah he really dave have you seen cleo i can't find her anywhere <laughs> like so i didn't know you did accents oh uh, yeah yeah <laughs> pretty good all right usually you know imitation uh, yeah, no, yeah. And, all right, you do yeah. trump <laughs> no i was gonna try and do it and no absolutely not but speaking of which actually i can show you the uh oh first let me just say this before we get into it, that Todd will be in Santa Fe, New Mexico on April 14th, Beacon, New York at the Town Crier Cafe on April 21st, and for some reason in Iceland in May? What's that about? That uh, sounds awesome. I know. I've heard it's beautiful. So I talked to my agent. I said, can you find me gig a gig in Iceland? He found yeah. me too. How do you pronounce that? Re- Re- Reykjavik. Reykjavik. I think you say Reykjavik. I think that sounds is that right? awesome. Yes. Okay. That I should know that without being a smart person Todd but I Barry's did know it, energy so is the physical embodiment of a satyr uh, okay <laughs> um what uh well i don't feel that way i don't even know what that means i don't know what it means either i just thought it was funny anyway have you ever been to iceland no so you just heard it was nice i heard it was beautiful and i know fred armiston went there and oh really and he played people, the same places i don't know if he played the same place but i know people who've and mike berbigli i was talking about the other night and right he, right he went there and said it's cool. really beautiful Oh, that sounds awesome. So you can go inside a volcano. Oh. Like inside a volcano. Or isn't that where they have like those hot springs? Yeah, they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds fun. A lot of of planning I have to do. It's in May. Will it be cold? I hope not. Can you see the northern lights from there? I don't know. I really. You didn't do any research. I did such minimal research. (laughs) Other than I heard. And I was like, why not go to Iceland and do some gigs? (laughs) That sounds awesome. I'm glad you're kind of touring. Yeah. I like when you're busy yeah i like you todd and i think you're really really an amazing comic thank you i always want to see you do well and thank I like you. you as a person of course too, thank you so. and i you i get happy except when... about the good comic part <laughs> i understand and <laughs> so does everybody else uh everybody knows how it is for me i am joking. hilarious I'm just off bo- stage <laughs> it doesn't bother me in the least okay uh we all know how i am on stage the fact that people ask me to open for them is mostly i think a gag on me and they find it funny when I'm bombing and, uh, you know, it's always funny. But um, what I was going to say, Mike, if you could show the uh, the first uh, picture, you know, this was happening in uh, New York just today. Yeah. That is the, you know, Donald Trump, our ex-president, is getting arrested. This is so insane. <laughs> what the fuck? And, I mean, these people are, this is the, you know, the MAGA hats against the, I don't know why the other people are there, actually. I, I don't know why you would even show up if you don't like Trump. Now, isn't that Wouldn't disrespectful be... to the flag, what, what she's wearing? Of course like it is. These robe. people are insane. Yes, it's totally disrespectful. When they fold that thing up so precise, right, and, this is got The only like... person that did this respectfully, if I remember correctly, was when the U.S. won the, the hockey in 1980 at the Winter Olympics, and they 
the goaltender, I think, draped the flag, and you could make a case for that because okay. he was sticking it to Russia. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is totally disrespectful. They don't seem to get that. So, yeah, and go to the second one, um, Mike. Also, this is the best. This lady's running over this flag, and she's running. And look at the next picture. She just falls <laughs> flat on her oh, I think I saw a video of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look at that guy. Like yeah, so he's like, what is the matter with you? <laughs> That's what he's saying. <laughs> I think he is. It's, I, I just, I don't, I don't know what's happening. And all I know is it affects how I take my car out of the garage because they're also doing it by Trump Tower. That's where my car is parked. You have a car? Yeah. By that's how I'm getting to the show on Saturday. Oh, my God. I just have to put power steering fluid in before I leave. Yeah. It's really funny when you're bringing a, a date or if you have a girl in the car and you just and like I've to, I'll be right back. And I got to pick up the hood and put the steering while they're like sitting there waiting. And then I have to fix the wipers. It's manly myself. It's t- are, you, are you coming with a date or like it, actual date date? Yeah. Well, it's, well, it, this is it's a friend, but sometimes we date. I don't oh. know. It, she's very young. Oh, yeah. She's a lovely, lovely girl. But I'm also bringing my friend Mitch Silverberg, who's the best. I mean, is he Jewish? And Sarah, knows, yeah. And Sarah yeah. has known him for years. In fact, in fact, she has said, uh, "I only want to hang out with comedians." You know, like I, I just can't. You know, regular. I, I just want to be funny, and I don't want to be edited. And I just like hanging out with comedians. There was a point where she said this once, and I go, well, "What about people that are funny?" Like you know, Silverberg. And she goes, "Oh yeah, no, no, he can. He, I'll hang out with him." Like, was like he made the cut. Yeah, he's really funny in a in an interesting way. I've okay. known him since high school. I'll I'll um, let you know if I talk. Yeah, to him. you'll let me know. I don't know. But when I, I ice him out, I'll let you. I'm know. excited to uh, see react. him, and he's excited to see you. All right, then. him and his wife are coming and see. Uh, they used to. You probably remember they used to own F Stop. They used to own a couple of places F-Stop. I used to run shows in. And where was F Stop? Um, seventeenth or eighteenth, and between fifth and sixth. You remember that place? It was a big restaurant. We used to have Saturday Night Live parties there. And downstairs, I used to put together a little show. I don't remember that. Um, I've, I did the show? Yeah. We had everybody do it. Definitely you did it. God. Yeah, it was during like a Lynn Getz times. And, oh, know, God. Or, yeah, she yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. committed suicide. <laughs> All my exes have committed suicide. But, you know... um, these were the good times uh, before all that nonsense happened. Right. But this was the best place. So they owned that place and they owned this place called Lava. Do you, do you remember coming to some of those places? No. Lava of, sounds familiar, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So it was great because, you know, then you could go to a club, you know, with a, a girl or a couple of people. And, yeah. you know, it was cool to like, you know, just be able to walk in. Yeah. It's cooler than that. When, when. Welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, so wait, so go wait, go to the uh what's the next picture, Mike? I think it's oh yeah. This is brilliant. See, that that's why you maybe Oh, I saw a clip of this guy too. Yeah, so I think his name is Jason. I don't know who he is, but that's fucking brilliant going out. I mean, look, they're all they're asking him questions. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> why didn't I think of that? Just it's go true. there dressed It is the perfect <laughs> TikTok pranky place to yeah, go. You don't even have to talk like him. Yeah. You just show up. Right, right. <laughs> Oh, goddamn brilliant. Also, yeah. Do you know who that is? Oh, is that George Santos? It's George Santos. Do you think Trump even wants him there? I mean, that's a deterrent, you would figure. <laughs> Nobody likes what's that he guy. There? Like, what's he supporting Trump? <laughs> the guy's out of his fucking mind. I mean, he's really out of his mind. You think I think he's gonna do some jail time. Santos? Yeah. Him, I kind of hope for for. I the, the Trump thing I'm upset about. Is that really? the lady who fell down? Oh, next to oh, I don't know. No, she was no, she wasn't wearing so. a denim. I, I the Trump thing. I, I just I, I'm confused by it because I just I just don't want this trouble. Right. And I feel like if you just let him go and just stop, and he'll go away. If he doesn't get attention, he gets angry. <laughs> Maybe he'll go away. I don't think no. I don't think he's completely happy. Uh, here's the look at this one. The next one. Oh, Jesus Christ. She's oh, like, yeah. let's get everybody. This is in, in New York. She's coming to New York for a big rally. Meanwhile, I heard today that that Collect Pond Park, wherever that is, and it's somewhere around here, uh-huh. um, they already found like a sniper or whatever. Oh, really? It's a disaster. This is when I hate living here. I would weirdly go to, I mean, I did go, but I would weirdly, if there was one that I could get to easily in New York, I would go to a a rally one like of those just rallies. to check it out it would be kind of fun not supported right? of course no no i i guess uh marcy anonymous said she wasn't going to be here today i think it has to do with passover 
Um, the next one, I don't know if you were following, but um, uh, so UConn won last night. I don't know if you followed the national championship, the basketball. No, I don't. Won. They won. They won big, and of course, this, this is like right out of Philadelphia. They just destroyed their own campus <laughs> after they won. I don't know what they would have done <laughs> if they lost. So there they are on the on the polls. But this is the most stupid one. I think the next one is, yeah, they they start bashing in the school. Uh, it's, there's video there's no way that kid's not getting expelled yeah it, it, I, it, there's video of it what and are you doing he, they're, they're taking a, a, the light post that they took down and and bashing in the the glass to the school or to, to the auditorium or, or whatever like over a basketball over a winning basketball game right with where the refs didn't fuck them over or anything it, it makes no sense right hi cammy oh my god you know cammy she came to see your show in florida oh yeah 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 Cammy, hi. It's nice to see you. I wonder if I should tell everybody your news. I don't want to do it, but um, she's doing all right for herself. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and uh, did, did you hear about she's got a new diet? The next one, Mike. Um, you heard about this, the Brooke Shields? No, what was so, this? Apparently, that's who she who took her virginity. Oh, who, who, Dean, oh, Kane, Dean Kane. Wow. Superman. And that- then I was like, oh, my God, I think he went, you think he played uh, football for Princeton. He's, so a, makes he's a big Trump guy. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's a Trumpy guy. Oh, maybe that's why she's like saying, oh, I left, I ran out of the room after he took my virginity. I'm like, what is, wait, it's not like, why are you making him, why is that necessary to say the poor guy? I mean, <laughs> and then they have another picture. If you go to the next one, Mike, that's them later on. They both look gorgeous. I want to see that documentary. I'm looking forward to that. On Brooke Pretty Shields? Baby. Yeah, it's new. It just came out today. It's about her? Yeah, like her, like a documentary. I met her once for two seconds. You did? Yeah. Um, a long time ago or now i did some weird nbc upfronts thing where i played a character when she was doing suddenly susan like you yeah talking. yeah yeah and, then, oh. and, and i walk by and she, she's like nice to see you yeah she's very nice she seems I've like she is heard nice. this um i remember my old she said nice to see you though we had never met before though that's the thing that's but i heard that's a trick polite. but um yeah she's terrific i think and uh uh I want to see that doc. I just saw the Reggie Jackson documentary. Who just told? Oh, someone just told me they watched that. Oh, Chris Rock told me you watched that. Oh, <laughs> I think he. I think he told me that. Or my friend Tom. You know, it's not two. a big deal to say. Oh, Chris Rock told me if you know. I mean, these. Are, I know it sounds like you're name dropping, but, but you're not because you are buddies with him. It's like right. it's like I always say Sarah Silverman all the time. Like, but you, you do, do name drop. Like, you do name drop. Well, of course I got a name drop. I don't have much going on, but for you, <laughs> it's not that. At least I fake. Day. I fake embarrassment. I could. So you don't want to tell that story where you were at the, the the hotel. Oh, you're trying to force me to tell. I just it, I thought it was fascinating. He's the guy. He's hanging out with Chris Rock, and Pedro Pascal comes over, he, and well, he came over the. I can't the next Chris night. Rock at this at this hotel bar, and then the next night I was with Sarah. Yeah. And that's what makes it even cooler because i was like how I do you know pedro pascal and i actually didn't know who he was but he came over and said hello and then he turned to me and i introduced, introduced myself he goes oh you live here huh and i thought he meant because i used to live in that neighborhood right i go yeah i do and then i realized he meant he was making a joke and then i heard him say something like uh i think i found out who he was before i i had watched an episode of what is it called lost lost left of lost of us yeah the the yeah, what my the last of us. Last, last of us. I did watch an episode of that with right. my girlfriend, and I didn't put the two two together. And then if someone told me who it was, but he said, "Oh, it's great to see amazing comedians hanging out." And, yeah. And then later I checked, and I said, "Oh, this guy follows me on Instagram." Yeah, no, he's a big fan, and so, the best is for something like that, especially for you and me. It's always funny when Sarah's like, "How do you know Pedro Pascal?" You know, like there's. And, well, she didn't say that to me. But you know, but she's. She was saying it to me because she was like, didn't didn't understand how this was happening because she thinks we only meet people through her oh. sometimes. So <laughs> many times she's like, well, how do you know Michael Caine? And I'm like, hey, I got a life outside you, you know. Do you know Michael Caine? I used to know him because this guy in my building was best friends with him. So sometimes we would hang out. Really? <laughs> yeah. He's good. Now, Dave, I want you to know that just because well, we're having dinner tonight. Um, I was on a plane with him once. Oh, you were? Yeah. Did you talk to him? No, no, no. Oh. I just saw him at the package but, but it's funny when she says and I, and the the line i'm taking it from this is so just go but like I, I i pull from everywhere there's this old cheers episode like in the later seasons where um they're at a bowling alley it's one episode without a bowling alley. it's not a very good episode but norm goes into the bar at the bowling alley and they'll go norm and sam goes 
they know I'm here. And Cliff goes, hey, the guy's got a life, you know. And that's right. I did a movie with him. With George Went. You did? Yeah. What called, was it called? It's called um, The Climb. Climb? Like yeah, he's a nice guy. Song? Very down to earth, kind of just non uh, show busy. In, he's a big indie rock guy, weirdly. Oh, really? Well, I remember when Cheers was on and, you know, like Woody Harrelson couldn't wait to leave because uh, he's like, oh, I got a, you know, big movie career coming yeah. up and stuff. And he's like, what are you talking about? This is like the best job. But, you know, he's a character actor like yeah. Don Ratzenberg. They're like, this is, we're staying until they tell us yeah, to leave. Yeah, I'm sure that worked out. Well, it did. No, I mean, not being seriously. Right, yeah. yeah. I'm being straight up. Yeah. They were mad at Woody Harrelson, like, shut up. You know, <laughs> I kind of wanted to. When it, I, if I knew George went better, other than when it, I kind of wanted to go into like, hey, can I look at your residuals? Or can we go on <laughs> right. the SAG well, website residuals? But probably, I'm just curious. It probably isn't as impressive because it was in the 80s and 90s. I know, like, but he's on every episode of yep. Cheers that was syndicated. He sure is. Yeah, that was a great gig for them. And he was amazing in that show and really, really amazing. And I've been watching the reruns now because it's on paramount and i just I, I i worshiped that show when it was on and i like it now but you love a guy that sticks with the show him and and rhea perlman and well that's why everybody likes ted danson the guy stuck with the show you know even when he was only making a quarter of a million a week oh my god well remember he's, they said he heroically seinfeld. stuck with the show he's making ted danson money you think he's making ted danson money <laughs> they, they use that in seinfeld oh really and george yeah like, i mean probably two it's probably more than 250 yeah i think it was it wasn't half a million, right? Not it that could have been million. half a million. Yeah. yeah, he was making a lot of money, but that he was the show, especially after Diane left. But the best part about that show, and I don't know whether my listeners know this or watchers, and I talk about it on my podcast sometime. <laughs> Cammy says Todd's yawning; he's bored. I that am bored, sense. and I am yawning. He made five hundred thousand per episode for all eleven seasons. How from wait, the get go? No, nah, I doubt that. that How would he make five hundred thousand on the and never got a raise? <laughs> Yeah, I think they got it was him. only the dancing attorney from Bobby. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> but I think the last three, four years, probably. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. That'd be, you're gonna, we're going to start you off with, with half a million in an episode, but we're never going to give you a raise. <laughs> All right. Even if you're on the show 11 years. Right. No, the best about that show is that after Diane left, you know, these are the guys that did Taxi. So what they did in a brilliant move was they pretty much made Sam Alex Rieger. If you think about it, Instead of, I mean, they still made him the the babe hound and stuff, but he basically does what Alex did on Taxi and goes with, Sam, will you come to my girlfriend's father's place? I, I'm really nervous. So he would always just tag along just like oh. Alex used to on Taxi. You know, he always like, Alex, you got to come with me. I'm going to ask this girl to marry me and I need you there. You know, what's interesting about me is I think I've, there's so many shows I've seen, like I haven't seen one second of Modern Family. Me neither. I I think I probably watched one or two episodes of Cheers. Oh, you never one saw or two Friends? Oh, you never yeah, saw I don't. I mean, oh. you ever see Taxi when you were growing up? I like Taxi. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't dislike any of those. I just was never. I'm too. You weren't a I'm TV too, guy. I'm too intellectual for that. Oh, I understand. <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, there is something to it. I mean, uh, uh, I was a big TV person, and there was nothing I could do. I mean, I worship TV, and I love it now. And how much? What What are we looking at? How many hours a day? Well. Think about this you know i i have a regular job mm -hmm. and i wake up a half hour earlier at 5 30 in the morning to watch an extra half hour of tv do you really yeah oh my god and i'm like will you speak so it's five thirty. you're sitting on your couch eating some cornflakes and watching i just sit i drink a glass of water before and then and yeah i'll watch uh and i now i'm watching moonraker like 15 minutes of moonraker every what is moonraker day, uh, james bond movie <laughs> oh my god uh yeah I've, I've been doing it for seven months now. I had this new job. Yeah. <laughs> My sister's the same way. She, and fortunately she found a man that doesn't mind just hanging around watching TV and really? it all the time. I don't even watch movies. I watch like network TV. Really? I watch reruns of the big bang theory all weekend. Seriously? Yeah. I'm crazy. Like weird. It's You'll weird. watch an entire episode of the big bang theory with commercials over and over again. You've over. And over. So have you seen every episode of Big every Bang? single one multiple times? Why? I don't know. It speaks to me. I like it. I don't know why. It's completely. I've never watched that show either. I hadn't watched it in, until it came to syndication, and I'm like, oh my god, this show is great. Where did, what? I don't even know what channel these shows are on. It was on CBS on Tube. Now it's on TBS. TBS. Okay. Every day, for like it. It, oh, it can't just be me. It's on from seven at night till eleven at night. <laughs> what back to back to back to back. 
And they tried to uh, do that with uh, what's it called? The, the 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 kid from Saturday Night Live with the nine one one. Oh, Reno nine one one. No, not Reno. Um, not Reno. Um, oh, Brooklyn nine nine. Yeah, yeah. And clearly, it didn't work because it's gone. No. I think it's really funny. They you watch reality. shows at other kinds of shows like Shark Tank. No, really. Yeah. No, I, don't, I don't like reality that much. Oh, yep, clearly, I like man. fantasy shows about a, a nerd that finds a pretty girl that lives next door and he's obsessed with her. <laughs> that's that's the yeah. fantasy. I like that. And and James Bond. So clearly, I don't like reality shows. Oh. Anyway, um, Mike, should we go to the slides? Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, thank you, Jenny. She said, uh, oh, Liza said I enjoyed your podcast, Todd. Oh. Are you thinking about bringing it back? I don't know. It's such a grind. Although you have, if I had sweet digs like this. This is nice, right? Yeah. We don't do it all the time because sometimes Mike is in Texas, so then it's uh, virtual. But when he's here, it's awesome to do. Huh. Yeah, we like it. Mike, having guests. I mean, Mike, would love to have you here. Is it produce, your producer yeah. sitting right there we just talked to? Yeah. He lives in Texas. Yes. Where? He's, San Antonio. Would, would it be? It's by coast if you consider the Mississippi one of the <laughs> um, Mississippi. Yeah, he lives in San, San Antonio, you said? Yeah, yeah. that's not huh. near the Mississippi. No, I, I know. I uh, that. How did you from... get a producer who lives in San Antonio? I didn't. The, I, I, I live in the cellar. Okay. I don't mean to talk to you like you're not here. But <laughs> talk about no, he it. lives in both places. He opens for Giannis. Oh, you're a com okay, you're Yeah, a com he's a comic. Okay. He opens for Bobby Kelly. Okay. And um, who are the other? Oh, uh, Rich Voss. What opens for Rich Voss? Yeah, he opens for How do you open for someone who's emceeing? <laughs> 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 Man, that was good. Is Rich around? I hope he, that, was good, that was a good one. Yeah, oh man, Rich, 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 Rich expects that he would he would slam me, but he would also laugh. Of course he would. That's why. What's your like full him. name, Mike? Mike Suarez. Mike what? Suarez. Suarez. Okay. Suarez. And right. He is Mexico. Why do you live both places, Mike? Am I allowed to talk to Mike? Yeah, oh. I have a house in uh, San Antonio. Ah, oh. it's Mar right near Austin. Marcy says Mike is a rock star too. Okay. Cammy says he goes with me and rides on saddles. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dan Sauter, Dan awesome. Sauter, Big J, Mike gets around. Oh, yeah. I work with them, too. Yeah. I hate all those guys. People, no, seem, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People seem to like Mike. He's all right. But it's cool. It's actually kind of cool that he goes back and forth because it's fun to be here for a couple weeks and then go back. and. Just Are there nonstop flights? Oh, uh, yeah. JetBlue is a nonstop. JetBlue. It's a solid airline, JetBlue. It's okay. I never take. I only take United now. I'm a United guy. Million miles. Oh, million should, miler. Because uh, now I got a. You know, I got a friend who works there. You do. Yeah, he's the best. And he's. Oh, so this cool. is going to be my payment for. Uh, what can he do for me? Uh, if if there's tr well, he can he can upgrade you a little bit. Not maybe not to first class, but but he's always. What he's do you like, think? So like, you love flying out of Newark. Well, LaGuardia. I, I, oh no, he's only out of Newark. I wait. What's his name? I love flying. Out, I don't know whether. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, uh john okay uh, oh yeah i think we, i think his anonymity is safe his name's john yeah uh, oh john you're in trouble uh, uh, let's no. not mention this so what does he do is he like a, a concierge type guy yeah but he's like like kind of in charge so it's like every time there's like for instance when my niece and i went to london i put her her name is dory but her actual name was dorian and i only put dory and for international flights you need exactly yeah, yeah. passport so he was able to change it which was almost impossible to do for some reason is he, little things like that because i but i love seeing him when i come off a flight because he's at newark and then i hang out in his office for a little bit and it makes what's me i wish i knew it is john because i tweeted at them once oh i've tweeted at them a bunch of times but <laughs> and i said i said something like it was my 35th anniversary as a frequent flyer there and they i showed up at the airport they paged me and they gave me balloons. Real? Yeah. No. Yes. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's cool. But I wanted I wanted lounge passes more than I yeah. wanted balloons. He's given me those before. When we tell went to London, him, it was really nice. Tell him right now, Todd Barry is a million mile. I will, because miler. he actually loves Platinum. comics. And I want to, so. can he upgrade me to, uh, what is it? The the one be above, uh, shit. 100k or something the, the one that we're in. i don't know i don't know he's the status. good and he loves comics so premier 1k i think it's I'll, I'll work it out for you all right mike sorry let's go back to the slides i want to talk more about united frequent Flyers. i know i want to talk more about it too uh um where did i go with my uh chat room stuff i was just looking at the time but uh okay well let's just start here um 
I'm sorry. I'm look. I I missed my. I, I like seeing the chat room, and I missed it. Sorry, everybody. Oh, so sloppy. I know that is very sloppy. It's not cool. I didn't check my phone while during that break. I you? usually do <laughs> turn it off, but I I like to see what's going on. No, no, no. I'm saying I'm just patting myself on the back. Uh. So anyway, this is uh the uh, the King Charles, and he's with the president of uh, Germany, which nobody likes. Um. And then you know what they did together. I don't even know. I feel embarrassed. Well, why would you know? It's not a big deal. What's the next picture, Mike? They they made cheese together. I don't understand. Made cheese. Yeah, it's, they went to a cheese factory and oh, look how look how fake interesting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you say it all pours out into this. Like he's been to a factory that makes cheese, but he's never been to a store, <laughs> right? Ever. Exactly. Well, mommy had told me about something like this, but I never thought I'd make see cheese. One. I, uh... Yeah. Uh, let's Jesus go to the next right one. Now, man. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. This is the only thing that comes out of Germany that's fairly cute is this uh, uh, polar bear. <laughs> um, that's, uh, oh, Cammy just seen. That's why I got to turn off my, damn it. That's a polar <laughs> bear? Cammy. Um, it's a polar bear with a, it's a adorable polar bear. Red polar cute, bear? And that's the only thing that, um, I know, right? It looks, well, uh, but it looks like he's swimming in oil. I think it's a that's red it's panda. <laughs> It is a polar bear. Okay. I have a, anyway, go to the next What's, one. Okay. I don't know why I put that there. Oh, so this is and in Israel. Okay. They're protesting over there. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, I know it has something to do with the president. I love that you found this picture. Well, the prime mention, minister mentioned what that it's what it well, is. Well, I found it because look no at the next follow-up. one. Well, no, the, the follow-up oh, is like, so this is all going. I mean, they're protesting everywhere, right? All around the world. So this yeah. is in Israel. But look how dramatic the Israelis are, if you go to the next slide, you'll see they took it right out of there. <laughs> oh, that's what yeah. it was all set up that's for. That's what it was all set up. Yes. Oh, my God. I, you actually <laughs> uh, do some work for this. Well, one. it's even better if you look at the next one. The Lego Les Mis oh collection. Now, that's the one oh, that they should be. Uh, There's a lot of layers in this joke. They should be wearing these scarves, you know, and uh, <laughs> like, that would be fun. Uh, Jean Val, wait, what's a good Jewish name? <laughs> Jean Val, Jean Valjanowitz. Jean Valjanowitz. There it is. See, Mike brings it sometimes. Mike brings it. He's <laughs> comic. Um, what's the next one? Oh yeah, this is protesting in France, and these guys are police, and they 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 have tear gas cannons, and they but it looks like so much fun. I don't see what the, the big deal is. They look like they're in a pleasant place. and They're going to shoot off these tear gas cannons. But on the other side, if you go to the next picture, you see, the, again, Mike, look, there's the guy holding the umbrella. <laughs> I don't know how that works. They're mad in France, too, but they're mad at, like, um, pensions. Oh, okay. And then... Oh, wait, no, they were mad because they raised the... Uh, retirement to rate. 64 from that's 62. Right, right. Look how smart I said. <laughs> and really they're born. also mad in... Is it Kenya? It's one of those other countries where they're mad at the high cost of living <laughs> and they're protesting that. I mean, in Kenya, what are you going to do? It's not Kenya. I'm, I'm being uh, prejudiced. I think I don't know. <laughs> um, can you go to the next one, Mike? <laughs> Todd, Todd is a, a week late says Todd is appreciating the word that Gramps puts into the slideshow. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, shut up. Uh, this is a military operation in, and I don't know where it is, but I just like that the cows are involved in the, <laughs> <laughs> we like posting animal pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah. A lot of times we do that and environmental pictures. So if you go to the next one, I think it's, oh, right. This is what's going on in Mike's home state, Texas. They hate drag people I know. and trans people. I know. And they don't want them around children or to talk to children. And these people are trying to say, but, we are good at what we do. I don't know if this is making the case. <laughs> but if you go to the next picture, they're I mean, this is what they're they're making a huge that's in Texas. Is that's that a drag show? Capital. No, <laughs> oh, that's a protest. It's a uh, what's Mike, what's happening down at I mean, first of all, is anybody surprised that Texas doesn't like they're homophobic and they don't like drags or trans? I mean, is that a surprise to anyone? Are these people really shocked? I think they're just afraid that people are reading to their kids. Why? We talked about this last week because I said, because they uh, here in the city, they had a drag show with reading to kids. And I was like, if you were a kid, when you didn't know anything else, would you love 
the, the what they put into oh, reading and yeah the kids yeah. wouldn't give a f- right fuck about that's the, i don't uh, understand uh, whether who, that are dragged yeah you know. they don't even know what there's oh that was a dude and like who cares it's like I know, he dresses hey up there's all husbands. sorts of people in this world my little child yeah and th- this is another type of person <laughs> you know <laughs> and they're reading to you <laughs> exactly and it's gonna be fun you know lady bunny you ever hear her i have heard of her i did a, a tv show with her once and she came to my house uh but just you know as the, the boy that she is and it was a good looking man you know, and i did i was like can i help you i'm lady bunny or you know i'm jeff <laughs> he came in without the costume so he lady bunny doesn't identify as is, is not a trans person i say i i don't I this don't was uh 15 years ago oh, okay. so i i don't you know, okay. whatever but um it was so the guy was awesome or she um and she's such a she's such a cool yeah i've heard of lady bunny she's kind of a living legend but it was over my house. Why did they? Why did they come over there? We were doing like a reading there. A reading. Yeah. Okay. I had a TV show or something. It was called The Crusaders of Science. You had a TV show. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Dave Cross was in it. Holy shit! Reluctantly, like today with you. Yeah, yeah. He was like, but I called I him, it. and he goes, "Oh no, this isn't going to end well." <laughs> so it was like a, a script reading. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So its show never was made. We made it but it wasn't very what's going on with your cars dot your cars movie it's on amazon is it yeah is anyone does anyone watch it oh they watch it seriously (laughs) one day you'll have to look it up and look at the reviews (laughs) people hate it they get angry how do they even find it well i assume cars fans look it up and they're like oh my god a documentary about the cars and then they're just furious i don't know how other people find it it's one of the most amazing things that anyone's ever done (laughs) Am I in it? I'm in it, right? I think, yeah, right? I need some of that money then. Are you making money off it? <laughs> no. no. Like I, any I, money? Pennies. I always get like a three months, they send about 50 cents or a dollar. Wow. Because you have to pay like a dollar ninety nine to rent it or something. It's a dollar ninety nine to rent it, yes. Yeah. Or if you want the HD version for three ninety nine. Yeah, the HD version. You filmed it in HD? Is that, I don't know, I don't know anything about <laughs> No, that's the thing. I don't know whether we did. In fact, we filmed it on this thing where I can't fix it and... We were just between the technologies. We filmed it on like a digital camera. I think I am in the movie, right? I think so too, but I can't remember. Yeah, right? Well, who do you play? I, I forget too. How crazy is that I'm in a movie and I don't remember being, whether I'm actually in it. Well, let me tell you whatever. something, Todd. Yesterday, so um, two nights ago, uh, The Wrestler was on. Oh, but that's not a TV show. So you didn't No, watch it's a it. movie. And Todd, if you haven't seen it, folks, you know I have a little voiceover in it. Um, do but, you yeah that's what my friend had texted me that day it was so weird what was your i think it's coming to the stage jade jade you're due on the how main you, stage how, how did you get that so um i'd known darren arizonski the way you did it from nadia's party okay uh so my i don't friend, know how i met him at, honestly i think you met him at that party because he used to like he likes comics yeah i know i think yeah. so I met him there, and then my friend Greg Bello is in the movie. I know Greg. And he is friends with him. So he said, oh, I got a guy who can do the voiceover. And I did it one day on my birthday, but we got into an altercation. Who, you and Greg? No, Darren Aronofsky, because I was doing a gag. I thought he would find funny, but apparently he didn't find it funny. And I was doing my lines, and I'm like, coming to the stage, Jade. And he goes, that's good, but can you do it this? Can you do it? I'm like, nah, we got it. We got it the first time. Come on, fellas, let's get out of here. And I was doing like, <laughs> I was doing the, the Frank Sinatra doing um, oh. uh, what what what's that movie that uh, Ocean's Eleven, where he's like, oh, we got it, we got it, let's go to the tables, and he didn't find it funny at all. So this is during the recording. So he didn't session. Even put me in the credits. This is the recording session. Yeah. Okay. So you were wasting his time. Is what I was wasting his time. Yes. But he used it <laughs> in the movie anyway. I'm in the IMDb. Somebody figured it out. I don't know who. But um, did you get paid? No. No. I did it on my birthday too. You didn't get paid? No, I never you got could paid. You sue for that, man. Maybe I will. I didn't care for the well. But um, uh, but you were great in that movie. Yeah, let's Folks, get to if that. If you've never seen The Wrestler, Todd is such a good actor. And it's one of those things where a lot of comics can't act. <laughs> and a lot of comics can't play themselves or what people's perception is of their selves uh-huh. and your performance in that movie is so good because you are yourself you you know you are todd but you're also acting yeah and you have this amazing scene with him where you're a dick but you're also compassionate and it really is 
a tremendous piece of acting. Oh, thank you. And and I love it. And I can watch it all the time. And if if you haven't seen it, everybody, you really you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and how good he is. Because it's it's one of those things. You know, shut up. Oh, Angela's oh Angela's here, right? How are you? They always make fun of me. Old old man yells at cloud. That's oh. me, like Grandpa Simpson. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, no, with Todd, it's uh yeah, let's <laughs> see. Uh but this is it's really great. It's special too. It's because it it's one of those things where like you were in it, and I'm just like, well, that everybody's like just so great, you know, get excited for you. And then you see the performance, and you're not expecting it to be good or thank you or or substance you know like you're thinking it's i didn't mean it like that I but know i'm you saying you're a comic you're todd yeah. you're this but you but you're a good actor yeah maybe i don't know but there's there's so much to it and i obviously darren saw it in you and that you could pull off a role like that i mean you have to you were you're a dick you know you're you're oh, you're running you. a deli counter you fucking hate your job and 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 you get that you get the multi-leveled character of what you're playing that you don't want to be there either but you know you're just involved with this and you're nice to him and you're also a dick to him and you never cow down to him even though he's huge and yeah scary. he's very big and that is the best part too oh thank you um i will tell you that uh another comic that is unbelievable in a movie is pat oswald yeah in that the the fan was it called the fan yeah Something big fan big, I think. holy shit yeah he's really good right? yeah that is one of the greatest performances i've ever seen by a comic too um you know, he was the lead in that one. I mean, that was it. That all was, right. I get it. No, I, He's the lead. Sorry, I, I just had a small part. I get you it. You didn't have a small part. That's the thing. That's the best part. I was like fifth in the credit. You had a big part. Yeah. And that's the part where you're like, it's exciting. I remember, I mean, I'm just bringing, as an example, when I was on Crashing, I remember like my my sister or or one of her friends was like, well, they didn't realize you had a big part. You know, because it's like, oh, I'm going to be on. But you assume, especially somebody like. Did you have a big part? Yeah. And a much bigger part than was exp I, it got expanded a little oh, bit wow. so I, it was a nice part for the day my part on that show is they sh showed a clip of me when i was on a tv show when pete is watching a tv oh show. is that what it was yeah so i never actually had to go anywhere <laughs> but i there was another time that they wanted me to do something and i was not available unfortunately oh it's funny i remember you know meeting with judd and he was like hey we definitely want to use you for the fourth season and i'm like that'd be great and of course there was no fourth season i think he was fucking with me <laughs> never know man i'll never know well i see him all the time i told him about the clueless class you got to really he goes oh man i want to teach at usc but my daughter goes there and she won't let me <laughs> which is really funny yeah. what, what are you going to teach a film class come on uh tide reminds me of my chemistry teacher in high school he chewed chalk 100 percent. i don't understand what that means you know liza didn't you say that you got into trouble with uh, marina are you trying to get into trouble with todd i mean what's no, going on it's all good uh, can we go back to the slides, Mike? Oh, let's go to the next one. Oh, yeah. See, this is in China. And this is their fashion show. We always show everybody has a fashion week. And we're like, well, where are people going to be wearing this? But this is China. And actually, I have no problem with this because at least it's interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah. It's interesting that they're all wearing that one same thing, but she, the other person isn't. She's not. Yeah. So go, go to the next one, because I think this is a whole... Is it, oh, I see, that's a tattoo convention, and I don't know what the fuck that is. Why, if it's a tattoo convention, would you ever wear a mask? Maybe maybe his that all the, like, above his eyes is all tattooed. Yeah, I, I was... His, his scalp and... Oh, you're tattoo. saying yeah. that that is a tattoo? That's not a mask? That's what I'm guessing. You just said it's a tattoo Oh, my God. Yeah, his like, face and, tat and scalp are all tattooed. Just like mine. Oh, my God, that's so fucked up holy shit that didn't even occur to me i thought he was more that's fu oh my god that's insane he's like that guy from the watchman oh my god that's fucked let's go to the next one because i can't even accept that <laughs> that's, 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 who would do that so that's in china that's a new bookstore in china wow isn't that cool look at the next photo look oh, what wow. they do over there that's a fucking bookstore. I just started reading. Really? You're a reader, right? <laughs> I wish I I'm, wish I was more of a reader. Yeah, me too. But I, I so come I, across as a reader. I just kind of started so reading. What did you start reading? Uh, well, I went with these girls at work, and they give me uh, these books to read. They're usually girl books. So I read The Housemaid and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm, re but now I'm reading The Time Machine, the, the 1800s. Really? 
and then we're going to the housemate too. Is this a book club you're in? It's kind of a book club. At lunch, we discuss the book. How, like how many hours? How long will you read for in a stretch? Um, like an hour. I'm that's not that not, good. That's good. But I do the best for a I can. comic. That's really good. Yeah, I know. And and then we funny. have eight. We all have ADHD. Exactly. And then I said, well. I'd like to read a boys book. Does anybody know what boys read? And then I'm like, do I Toby Keith biography, <laughs> Toby Keith, the actor, Travis Tritt, <laughs> kid rocks biography. Well, that's the thing. I'm like, what, what are, what's a boys? Did book? you see kid rock shooting the Bud light cans? You should try to find that on. Can, no, you, what's can we do a, can we call an audible well, and look good at it? Yeah. He can find that. You know about that, Mike? Uh, no, but I'll find it. Yeah, I guess they did a, a Hardy LGBT. Sure. Angela said, are you there? God, it's me, Mark. Don't you see that's a woman's. They're finally making that movie. Every girl ever made, you know, um, read that book. My sister must have read that thirteen times. I still don't know what it is. Judy Bloom, she was overrated. Are you, are you looking up the thing, or are we going to go to the next? Oh, right, you're oh, no, ready. Thing. Can you do both? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh yeah, let's go to the next uh, slide. Oh, you're ready with the thing he said? Uh, well, uh, in a second, I can do the slide right. Oh yeah, right let's first. do this because uh, I think yeah that right and then if you go to the next one it looks exactly like the movie which I just finally saw which is uh, Interstellar oh wow well, so you do watch a movie now and then uh, yeah sometimes on Fridays on Fridays okay. yeah that's, that's why weird. I watched the I watched a lot of the nominations uh, that's weird so the whale which I didn't like um I like Tar yeah that was really good uh, okay I heard that's good uh what's the next one Mike Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't follow this enough. It probably would have been entertaining. I think it was. That's what everybody said. But And now apparently I heard the guy, you know, he, he lost. He's insane and an idiot. Yeah. He's he's trying to appeal. I mean, it, 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 uh, he's like a moron. And then they figured out that he hit her. So he's yeah, got to be the stupidest I guess person. Could, can you appeal? I guess you can appeal that. Yeah. But then it's. I he's think, yeah, you know, he's probably just looking for a payoff. Like, she's, well, he was, but he didn't get it. Yeah, that I kind of like that she didn't, but that she went to trial. I, instead that, of paying him. cool, right? She yeah. could have written she a check asked for, for a dollar. Right. That's but cool. he's got to pay all her legal fees. Ooh. That could be like $300,000 or more. This is the guy who owns or used to own Starbucks, Howard uh -huh. Schultz. And he's testifying somewhere about the, it's all those people are there, I guess, saying he's a monster because their wages were bad or something uh -huh. but it's just funny that he's drinking coffee <laughs> that that's the best part of the photo <laughs> i don't know why why and it's not be... starbucks exactly. i know it doesn't i don't think it's a starbucks thing it's some, but it's just kind of weird that you're testifying and you're drinking coffee i mean some shitty congress cafeteria coffee. <laughs> exactly and all those people are looking at him like look at this guy to be fair you don't actually know he's drinking coffee no but it's out of a coffee cup yeah uh you can go to the next one mikey Oh, yeah. Well, see, he always says that there's a lot of people there, but that's not. This is all Mike's fault. <laughs> so that's why I put him in. You can go to the next one. I hate that there's American flags there. Go on. Um, yeah, this is like there's weird things happening with dinosaurs. Like for some reason, this is in London and they're saying like this. They said there, there's either these dinosaurs are, or the park is going to become extinct. And I'm like, what are you talking about? They're already extinct. Like, I mean, it's they're treating them like they're like real it's I, I don't know how to explain it but in the next one this thing of bones is going for an auction for like seven million dollars who's buying that what do you need that for nick cage <laughs> that's a good see that's a good answer ah i just <laughs> want to get you know gotta get the bones gotta get where it's at they used to be all over this world and now they're extinct erased from existence <laughs> uh you can go to the next one that is uh venus i think what that's the moon and then you can see venus i love this kind of stuff i love planetary stuff um i just like it because you can see directly to venus from the moon where if you remember the next slide um that's what he was going to blow up the earth because it affected his view of venus but you know if you take it from a different direction you're not going to have to blow up the earth that's Marvin the Martian. Did you never watch Bugs Bunny? I, I zoned out what did through all of that. <laughs> that's okay. Go to the next one. Oh, that's what's happening in California. That's a highway. Oh fuck. Yeah, it looks like the end of the world. I mean, it looks like a like it's part of an ocean. Go to the next one, Mike. I think. Yeah, that's they there's people quite frankly that look like they're having a good time. That's in California. Yeah, I'm sure they're having a blast. Well, it doesn't look like they're unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what what looks good time about that? It's like they it looks like they're I mean it look it, I, I mean I I know what you're saying. Would you not like to get a photo like that? Like so I I'm like I would be so angry if I didn't get a photo of that happening yeah. to me. And then of course as this was happening, what would I say, Mike? What a week I'm having. This is um this is on the Thames River. These guys were racing. I think I it's guess. the Thames. It's Thames. The, yeah. Well, the only reason I know it is because of the next slide, which I'm sure that's where you that's how you know. And what's that from? <laughs> Thames. Yeah, but what's that oh card from? Everybody knows that one. Who's a comic? I guess. London. Yeah, but what's the next slide? Oh, it was it showed before um <laughs> oh. Remember that would always be the uh yeah. Thames, you didn't know what it was, and I I didn't I no. didn't would also show before Danger Mouse. <laughs> Oh, is what, that right? What is that show? That's Benny Hill. Oh, okay. I didn't they remember they'd always have that card, right, Mike? Yeah, it was a channel, I think. You know, I watched this the other day, Benny Hill. Yeah. Because, you know, you just can't believe it that it was so popular and it lasted for like 30 years. It, you know, in a day like today, it's just so fucked up. I don't know how he got away with it. Sorry for the big yawn. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I don't, like I, for me, you know, I usually do the show on my own. So, oh, really? <laughs> I don't even need guests. So you bore yourself? Yeah, pretty much. I bore <laughs> the audience. They just play along. Um, pronounced Thames. Scruffy Thames. Bones says. Yeah. Eliza says before all British shows. Do you think the algorithm is really confused by our PDJ? Uh, what's the next one, Mike? We can move through these. Uh, oh, yeah. Remember, that's again, that's crossing the border, the Mexican. I mean, I still don't see how difficult it is to just cross that little lake or whatever that oh, it's is. It's a little kid. I guess. Yeah. So what's so hard about crossing that thing? I think it's the razor wire fence behind. Yeah, it. yeah. I know. But it's funny if it was just that. Like, that's why I always show those. <laughs> that are like, yeah, they're crossing the border. But you don't know whether they're anyway. Go on. <laughs> that is a giant meatball made out of woolly mammoth meat oh yeah it's disgusting but it also looks delicious i don't know why <laughs> i like showing pictures of food and animals um which is awkward but go on mike oh yeah that was so that was i don't know whether you i guess you didn't watch the final four no. it was pretty exciting saturday there was a buzzer beater oh, i love I, buzzer beaters for real yeah i don't like any I don't like. I've never watched a basketball game in its entirety ever, but I'll see clips like that. And I talk. So, did I love you see it. it on Saturday? No, this was Saturday. San Diego State, Florida Atlantic was up the entire game, and you can see with point six seconds left, this guy from San Diego State made the shot. The ball's in the air, and look at the next one. He um, he was he made it. <laughs> and the red went up, and it was uh, and they went crazy. You and want, then they just lost yesterday. You want some trivia? Yeah. I went to University of Florida, but I did two semesters at FAU. No way. I did, yeah. So you did you know that they went it really didn't far? I was really surprised because someone told me the other day. I was like, really? Because it just seemed Even like sort of like four. It just seemed like sort of a small B campus. It is. That's why it was amazing. This I mean, whole year was like San Diego State shouldn't have even been there. Um, but yeah, that was those buzzer beaters are I, love God damn, I mean I it, saw it, one where it bets on this. I think it's a high school game where the kid Threw it backwards. Yeah, I've seen that too. It was nuts yeah, all the way. Like, yeah, all the full court. Like, yeah. Like, oh my. Yeah, those yeah, those like, are the the best when they have footage of that. But yeah, that was exciting. So go on, Mike. <laughs> and it was opening day. Is he for the Cubs? This guy? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Nacho libre. Um, you can go to the next one. It's just opening day in sports. This, you know, what's weird about this one? This is the world blind golf. That guy's blind. I was oh, wondering really? why he was touching his head he's blind you know i feel like there are certain things you just can't do when you're blind that you know you just have to say well what am i gonna <laughs> this seems like it's one doesn't of seem like it'd be fun if you're blind but god bless them yeah absolutely it's just but how are you how do you how do you hit the ball maybe that's what touching the head is like you can if i'm touching you this way then you know the ball is such and such i mean I don't know, but maybe it would be fun. I'd be nervous being blind, I think, in a big open field. You know, I think I'd be uptight. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, hi, Barry. Happy Passover. Thank you for your offer. Uh, go to the next one, please. Thank you for your offer. What's that? He uh, offered me to come over for Passover. Oh, okay. Him and his lovely family. Uh, he came to see me and Sarah 
at Marina in Atlantic City um, a couple of years ago. How was it? How was that show? It was great. It was, you know what was really good? What everybody says is good. I, I don't know if you've played there. The, I, I bring, you have that that Bethlehem one, that casino there. Oh no, I've not done a casino there. I've done uh, what is that one Steel called? Side. Sands or not? But it's called something else now. Everybody raves about. It. Like I remember Jeff and Dave used to tell me that was good. They all used to like that club. Huh. And so then I was finally there, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know what the difference is with that place, but it was huh? Crowd that was casino, great. huh? Yeah. And then we went to Atlantic City that next night. That was one of the best nights I ever had because we were um, Beth Stelling was there too. There was all the girls, and we were just talking about. Uh, I don't know. We were joking and we we're texting, but I went to the tables to go play. But it was like we were in camp, and we were all just, you know, like, oh my god, this room is disgusting, or whatever. I don't know. It was really fun. Yeah. And then I won at the table, so I was really happy. What's your I game? Used all the money. What? What's your game? I like three card poker. I don't know. I couldn't do regular poker. This is just three card poker. It's mostly luck, but I really like it. I like blackjack. I like blackjack too. But three card poker just seems like easy for some. You can win more money at three card poker. With blackjack, you have to bet more to win more, which makes me nervous. Oh. So I like if you get a. a when I play blackjack, I just walk up to the table and go, I don't know what I'm doing. And then everyone helps me. They do? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I think it's to their benefit to help you. Uh, yeah. Because I've had that thing where I made it. I, I asked for a hit once or something. And sometimes and I was, they get angry. Yeah, it's like, what, it, this is gambling man that's what i tell people when they <laughs> get it you're there's so a reason right this place, you don't hit on a 17 you idiot right this isn't going to affect them somehow this this is there's a reason this place is in business not because they lose all the time it's it sucks when you get a guy like that that yeah, just and, doesn't get it i mean and, that's, then, and then at that time i want to keep hitting yeah it's going to screw that guy right and there's <laughs> enough security there where if the guy started a fight with you probably yeah well, one time, um, I'll never forget my next door neighbors growing up of the Weinbergs. Uh, this girl, Nancy, was dating this guy. He was like foreign guy or something. And their dad was the ultimate Atlantic City guy. He was the best. He was like, Dave, I got to tell you, I have always thought you were funny. You know, <laughs> but uh, he knew everything. He was the Atlantic City. They all knew him everywhere. And he had to play. We would ask him where we're supposed to go. He said, like, you got to go to showboat. I'm going to move in from Clarence to the showboat. And she was dating this guy, and he and her boyfriend hit on a sixteen or something, and he demanded that she break up with him, and she, and she did. <laughs> she didn't want to disappoint her dad. Her dad, how old was she? Twenty five. And her Maybe boyfriend 20. hit on a, a underage girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. A blackjack, a blackjack. Oh, a hit. Sorry, oh, okay. he I, hit on. I, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, like start a, over again then. Like sixteen. And, oh, okay. Yeah, and her dad got so angry that he's like, "You got to break up with him. He's a fucking idiot." <laughs> it was so, and she That's did. Hilarious. She did. She oh. broke up with him. I think his name was, was it Paolo. I can't, I'll never. What's forget the rule the if it's like fourteen and above? You you hit. Well, it depends and below. what the dealer has. If it's right, if it's if the dealer is showing a six. Mm -hmm then yeah you wouldn't hit on a 14 or something like or even a 12 because that's like you're assuming he's going to get a picture card but anything else like you said it's gambling why wouldn't you want to take a risk yeah. I, I guess it's i'm pretty good at walking away though that's the best gambler there is yeah i am not <laughs> uh let's oh what's that one? Oh, this is kid rock this is oh yeah when was this today i don't remember but it says april 4th <laughs> Grandpa's feeling a little sound? frisky today. Uh, if we have the headphones. Oh. Let me uh, say something yours? to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. Ooh. Bud Light and Anheuser Bush. Have a terrific day. <laughs> What does he have against them? They did like a campaign with a rainbow flag or something. Oh shit! Yeah. He's so that they, angry they, about it. Yeah. So yeah. he's they entered a, a trans partner uh, a partnership with a trans TikToker. You know, so, I'm not gonna. Why are they doing that? It's Bud Light. Do you think really any trans or gay people like Bud Light? So you're on the side of the guy who took a, a <laughs> I gotta six pack say, of Bud Light. And, I think it's a mistake a with Bud Light. Gun. <laughs> 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 But, is... Bud Light's disgust. I've seen the guys that drink Bud Light. Okay, I was in Staten Island two Thursdays ago. Remember, Mike, yeah. when it was ladies' night and there were no ladies there? Those are the guys drinking Bud Light. 
How long is this show, by the way? Uh, it's almost over. Okay. <laughs> I know you have to. You have a spot. I'm really hungry. Uh, you have a spot. What time is it, Mike? Seven. Oh, so let's just give it ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Well, you Holy can leave now if you want. No, no, no. I would be just a couple. I got a I would be a slides. jerk if I did that. No, you wouldn't. People have to leave. You okay, have a bye. show. No, it's professional and cool. No, I still have a little. This is a couple of. Uh, I like watch. Here stuff. we go. Let's uh, do it. That's tea leaves in China. People picking. I love oh, really? Stuff. That's yeah. Pretty. And then go to the next one. I just picked that cherry blossoms in China too. That's pretty. China cute. looks like the place to be. I think yeah. I might move there. I they Chinese definitely wouldn't today. have a flag like that with Bud Light. I'll tell you that much. Do you like Chinese food? I love Chinese. I had they, remember we ate together uh, during COVID. Did we? Yeah, it was one of the best meals I ever had. That Chinese place. Where'd we go? Where was this? Um, during COVID, I was surprised you didn't mind going out. We ate outside. You wore your mask most of the time. Where? When when was this? It's somewhere in your neighborhood. Really? 2020, I guess. 2020. 2020. It had to be 20. How did I end up hanging out with you? I think we were. <laughs> I, I I know. I know. I know you're not making a joke. But, I am making it. But I mean, no, uh, I we, we, were, we were doing that show at that Sixth Street. That girl that used to run that little oh Sixth yeah yeah Street show. I'm trying to. Think. I wonder where we ate. We ate. It was delicious. If you can figure it out, I, I feel like it was in your old neighborhood. Remember when you used to live in Sarah's building on Eighth Street and Second Avenue? I figure, I feel like it was around there, but maybe it was Avenue A. I, uh -huh. I don't know. I get that area confuses me. You love living in the East Village. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you always have. You yeah. like it there. I, I want that would in, be I the mean, worst really thing for me. When Sarah moved there, I used. I, I was like acting like her dad. I'm like, does your do your parents know about this? I just think that was the most dangerous place for especially well, it was in girls. 1987, it was. Well, we're I'm talking 1996. Hi yo, hi yo. Oh, you can go to the next one, Mike. Um. Oh, see, that's my book. That is Todd's book, and well, we don't have to talk about it. Let's go on. Next one. I was just promoting it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's me on uh, Colbert. He's cracking up. I mean, how cool is that? that is and he cool. hates comics. Does he? Yeah, but it looks like he's actually having a good time with. Well, he's, he's uh. He hates comics. Why do you say that? I've been told this by very, very reliable sources. In fact, I think he was mean to Steve Martin on the show. Really? In fact, he might have been the one that spread it around. But he's tight with John Stewart. Ooh. Uh, he like well, but gotcha. John Stewart is more of a political guy now. He's, but he's not. Yeah, he is. A, he's what Steve a Colbert is. You know, so yeah. it's like. Yeah, I think that's it, right, Mike? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to promote you. And no, I appreciate and that. I didn't mean to. How I, cool I just, you are sitting off there guard. and the fucking paneling, which is so I know, cool. Man. And a, you look good I'm wearing that suit. Yeah. I'm a fucking celeb. That's all. I just wanted to... Uh, Follow me on Twitter, at Todd Barry. Follow me on Instagram, at Todd Barry. Jenny says it is mandatory to like Chinese food as a Jew. That's true. Best Chinese was in Montreal. Oh, those are your reviews here. Yeah, Dave, can I? Oh, Jesus Christ. Not for fans of the cars. <laughs> I I haven't seen some of these. are new. I haven't read anything. I should write a review. Embarrassing to watch. <laughs> yeah, this is good stuff. Yeah, but see, these people just don't. They're not They're not getting it. Right. I had known Ben Orr in the 60s. You know, shut up. <laughs> is that what, what he said? Yeah, yeah. look, like, what a dick. It was supposed to be a comedy. It wasn't like funny. That's his opening. Is it was well lame. It's a it's contender for the worst movie I ever saw. I mean, that's to me that speaks volumes. That's wonderful. I mean, don't repeat my mistake and spend a dollar. I mean, come on, jerk off. <laughs> that's. I mean, you're never going to get a review if you're looking for. Here's what they don't understand. There's not going to be a movie of the cars. You know. So this is <laughs> what you one. get. And there are historical facts in there. So just take, you're lucky anybody remembers the car. I remember that you, you created some simulated car music. Like, boom, 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 boom. Right, right. I made my own car song. Car, Cars-ish. I, I made a Cars-ish song called How Did You Do It? Oh, man. How did you do it? How did you do it? How did you know? How did you know? You know how you get to funny. <laughs> that makes me go. And run off. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I had that idea since 1985, and it was always. What was your budget idea. on that? Fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, mostly just I. My friend Lee gave me some money, and I paid for it most myself. And it was mostly just for lunches for everybody. Yeah, nobody got paid. But the camera crew came from Boston and Washington every weekend, and wow. You know what are you gonna do? You Thank did it, you, man. Marcy. Thank you, Marcy. Jessica was the best, she says. She's so right. Thank you. I love Marcy. Oh, bye, Aunt Judy. I'll see you tomorrow. 
Um, yeah, I don't. I, I'd been waiting to make that movie ever since I saw Live Aid, and because I worshipped the Cars in college, I thought they were the greatest. And in Live Aid, the whole movie is based on this one thing. In Live Aid, you're waiting all night for the cars. You remember it was a whole day of you know London and Philadelphia, and then I don't know if you remember, but I remember this in my head before there was YouTube or anything. Phil Collins takes the Concorde, right? He did from London to Philly, yeah. And so when the cars finally get on, they're like, "Phil Collins has just landed at JFK," and they put the cars in like the oh, small really? right hand oh, corner box, and they're just showing the plane taxiing. So I'm like, "What the hell is?" This? And then they have an interview. All right, we have just heard he is about to arrive on the tarmac, and the well, cars he did go on on a plane. Back. They're acting like he fucking exactly ran there, or something. and then he sang the same songs. Remember? Oh, he did like really bad. So, but the, so the best is just like, you know, what we, the movie was based that they run into Phil Collins earlier in the movie and he's a dick and he's like, you got to do anything you got to do to fuck anybody over, you know, and then he ends up fucking them over. Oh, okay. like, so that's, that's the whole good. gag. The have, good have, thing was in California, I showed it. I don't know whether I ever told you this. Jimmy Kimmel wanted to see it. Yeah. And he's like, Jimmy wants to see your movie, wants to set up a screening. But you got to do it at like nine o'clock because the show was taping, you know. And I'm like, whatever, I'll fly out nine there. in the I'll morning, nine at night. Okay, because remember, we used to tape. Yeah, I right, were on the same. It was live, live. So I said, I'll fly myself out. I'll set it all up, you know, which I did because that's a big deal. And uh, the plane landed, and Sarah texted, "We we broke up." Oh man! <laughs> I swear to God, oh, you got this is the worst fucking luck. So so then. Yeah, I had the screening anyway, and I, the only person I remember was right there, and it, and it was it was a disaster. But it wasn't a disaster. But but the people there in California got the joke right. when we went to the box. They they actually were paying attention, right? And the, it, it got an applause break, and it never happened since. But that Have California any of the cars crowd, seen it? what? Have any of the cars been aware of it? Made aware? Uh, yes, apparently Elliot Easton, the guitarist. His brother came to our screening in New York and uh, he walked out, <laughs> but it was awesome that he walked out. See, and we've heard through Cars fans that he's a legendary dick. Oh. No, not the Pixar's Cars. <laughs> anyway, Todd, I just want to thank you. Thank you for asking me to do this. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for, I know you're doing a spot in about 10 minutes. Anybody, I told you. I got about an hour, but well, I'm hungry. If you have an hour, that's even better because if you are in New York City or near the West Village, come down to the Comedy Cellar, see Todd, see all of our friends perform all the time. Uh, you know, we got a lot of people that are friends of the show, of this particular show that have yeah. been on through the years. It's been on like two years, right, Mike? I mean, it might be our anniversary. Oh, man, you got a big guest for your anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for having me. No, thank you so much. So, so Todd is going to be with Sarah Silverman on Saturday at the Kelp Basie Theater in Red Bank, which ironically I've never been to, and I'm down the shore all the time. It's weird. So I'm totally looking forward to that. And uh, then he will be on April 14th in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oh, no, that's right, Angela. You live in Phoenix. I don't know how close that is to New Mexico. <laughs> and where's Beacon, New York? That's just upstate. It's like an hour and 15 hour minutes, 15, I think. Town Crier Cafe. The John Cocteau cinema is where you are in yeah, Santa, Santa Fe. Fe yeah um the master of the double take if i remember correctly in his films that's oh, okay. what they say but uh it'll be the beacon and then in iceland in may a week late thanks todd we love you thanks for the last of the years you're welcome a week late that's really cool when are you do you ever play the vegas uh, room i oh. did once i headlined it on a monday you'd like it i did i just you know yeah it was fine it's good you didn't like seeing Mark Coca Cohen? He wasn't on the show. I, what? No, it was a headlining show. Oh. Uh, like when they weren't doing their showcase show. But yes, I did like it. Oh, uh, Angela says, tell your cat. I said, pss, 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 pss. all right, I will. I'll pass. Uh, oh, Catalina, where is. I don't know where Chile is. Dad. <laughs> I don't know. No idea. I think it's in South America. Good night. But yeah, anyway, Todd, thank you so much. Mike, thank you very much. Mike, where are you going to be this week? Uh, nowhere. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, by the way, folks, I'm sorry. Let me just say this last thing. Uh, my show is back. I'm going to do Make Me Laugh uh, down here at the Comedy Cellar. The date is set. It is Monday, May 15th at 735. So Just Gow's back, and he's better than ever, and he's live here live. at the Cellar. Live. So that will be exciting.
we're back may 15th uh otherwise just count the city of course and on billy joel a to z we have the innocent man album wrap up part one boy that podcast is gangbusters so we'll see you all next week here again in studio uh, Mike is staying one additional week. So who knows who will drop by next time. This is the Comedy Seller Nightly Show. Thanks for watching, everybody.